haircut. Guys, I know, I know, I'm late to the party, but uh, I finally got one. Guys, I'm primarily a photographer, so I had absolutely no need to buy this gimbal. However, I'm always looking at wanting DJI Ronin M's at gimbal, um, just so I can add something to my videos and to do something that I want to do and maybe produce more videos, especially on YouTube. So why didn't I buy a DJI Ronin M? Well, I've invested a lot of time, energy, money onto my Canon gear. But the main, my main camera is a Canon 5D Mark III. And for video, the camera does an autofocus, which means it's hard to control the focus unless I get more accessories for, for it if I bought the DJI Ronin. Which to me wasn't viable because since I wanted to do this as a side hobby, especially for YouTube, I didn't really want to spend much. Once I heard that Zion Crane 2 had a dedicated follow focus, especially for Canon cameras, I was definitely, definitely interested. By the time I decided I wanted this gimbal, DJI announced the Ronin S. I suppose I could have waited for it, but everything I wanted was in the Zion Crane 2, and it was affordable, and it was available right now. And being the impatient person that I am, I just went out and bought it. Anyways, this isn't a review of the Korean 2 because there, let's face it, there's a lot of reviews on YouTube and why would you want to look at another review saying the same thing? This video is really just my thoughts of the product and why I love it or don't love it. As soon as I opened the box, I knew this was a good choice. The case was awesome, albeit as soon as I opened it, it was so smelly. It's stunk of smoke or something, not sure what it is, but it stinks. But everything else felt quality. The gimbal itself is solid, heavy, no cheap plastics. One thing I found about this gimbal was that it was really heavy after long use, so I bought dual extended handle grips to help me balance it. Also thank god for these tripod legs. So this is my setup. All I need now is a monitor to check my focus on what I'm recording. Maybe consider buying a small focus HD monitor. As you can see from the footage, there are some shaky bits. I think that was user error, that was my fault. Because a lot of these clips that I'm showing you sample footage are first time me, me using it for the first time. What you're seeing here is recorded from the Fujifilm X100F. I've got a balance for that on the Zion Crane 2 and I'm not sure whether to choose. There are settings in the gimbal to choose small camera and you can choose the sensitivity and I'm still trying to figure which one um, I should use for the Fujifilm. Obviously for the Canon 5D I'm going to use heavy and sensitivity. I'm going to have it as strong as I can. But as I said, you can see from the footage, it is a bit shaky and I'm still trying to work with it. And I think, I believe that I can fine tune it and make it just, just that wee bit better. I also think that having a monitor would be beneficial for me as well because it's quite hard whenever it's the camera's down the ground, whenever it's underslung. I can't see what I'm recording. There is a bit of jitter whenever I'm running about. This is me running quite fast. Well, to me, it's quite fast. Anyway, guys, that's all the sample footage I have. That was all from me using it on maybe three days. I'm still trying to get used to it, but let me know in the comments what you think anyways, because as they say, communication is the key to any long lasting relationship. Yeah. Okay, I definitely am a loser. Right, okay, I'm gonna go.